Hello all, my name is Mayam Karma and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to cover the topic related to how to get the month, year, date, week information from the gate. So this is very important step to clean our data. And when we do analysis with the, with the time series data or data that is dependent on the time. So let us start. Firstly, I'm going to import the Pandas library. So I'm going to import in Pandas library as PD. Now here I am creating a data frame. So you can see that in this data frame I am passing a dictionary, a dictionary that contains three key date, store, and sales. So it's basically exam is a sample of sales data. So I'm just showing this line of code and now see the data type of these three columns. So here you can see that date, store, and sales three columns is present and the data type of date column is object means a string and data type is store column as an object and a data type of sales column is as integer so you can see that here uh, date is present as a string not a date time format so it's a first step when we import the data so for in data cleaning we can firstly change the data type in a correct format so for this here for we had to convert the date a uh, column data type as a date time format so let's see the firstly i'm seeing the data print of <clears throat> i'm print the data frame now i'm going to change the data frame uh, date column in date time format so for this i'm using two underscore date time function so i have in my previous video i have covered uh, how to convert a column from string to date time format in pandas data frame. so when we have I have covered when we have different type of data, uh, date column format. So, the, how can we deal with these types of problems? So, I have covered everything here in my previous video. So, let's change our uh, date, uh, data type of our date column. So, for this, I am using two underscore date function from the date video panda library, and this function I am passing df dot date column. So let's run this line of code and now check the data type. So here you can see that the uh, data type of date column is date time 64 ns. And the stories, uh, data type of store is same as object and data type of sales is same as integer. So now let's see the data frame. So here you can see that there are no changes in data frame, but there is changes coming in a uh, data type of this column. So now, now let's uh, suppose that I want to uh, hear information from the date column. So for this here I'm using date time index function or in date date, uh, date date time index function i am passing df dot date so here i am getting uh, i want to uh, uh, hear information for this here i am passing dot here so that you can see that here i am just extracting the year information from this date column now suppose i want month information and uh, month information day information week information and weekday information from this date call so for this here i'm using only simple i'm uh, i'm extracting uh, for extract uh, month from date column so i'm using dot dot month for day information i'm just passing dot day from parameter in this date time index function and dot uh, week i'm passing for extract the week information from this data frame and for the weekday dot week dev for the extract week day information from this data so just i uh, run this line of code and now you can see that the four different column is also present in this data frame so you can see that i have extracted year month day week and week day information from date column so these types of anal uh, analysis is very important then we have data dependent on time series i have uh, that i have already explained and uh, um, this is very important when we did a time series data is follow the any seasonality and when it is not dependent on only date. So the data may be dependent on the time, the behavior of data dependent on the third, uh, month, day wise or the year wise. So that's why we do these types of the data cleaning step. So we can say data process. So now here you can see that month and weekday information present as an integer format so you can see that month is 12 12 12 
So with, I want this one thing information as a uh, January, February, March, April, May. So, and also weekday as a Sunday, Monday, with Tuesday. So for this here, I'm using just import uh, uh, date time library. So firstly, let's import the date time library. So I'm just importing date time library. And, uh, and you can see that, uh, so we, we, are, we are using date time library. So because date time library contains a function so with the help of this library the, we can use extract so many things that is uh, related to date time we can analyze like, analyze too much so many things that is dependent on date time like date date time and time delta time time zone so with the help of the, the date time library we can do these types of finding and we can do this type of analysis Let's see the type of uh, format of uh, date uh, in the coding format of date in date, uh, data formatting. So you can see that here, uh, percent is a, a capital A used for the full name of the weekday. So with the help of the percent, and we can extract the full day of the weekday. And percent A is used for the uh, uh, three character uh, form of the weekday or short form of the VT. A percent small B is used for the full name of the month. Percent small D is used for the uh, month for information, day information. Percent M is used for the uh, uh, info, month information in digital format and percent Y used for character Y used for the uh, year information in two digit and small B used for the year information in two GD. So let's see the firstly our data frame. So here you can see that our big day is in data format. So here I'm just using uh, here uh, I'm passing uh, using uh, here this have the D of dot date. And this is I'm extracting column date column, and in, in this date column I'm passing strf function from date time library. So strf function is useful when we do formatting of a date function like i want to uh, date function on the year information and when we want to change our date uh, date time format so i will explain you here so here i am passing percent smaller so let's start with all the example i'm covering all these code here so let's start with capital so here you can see that You can see that here. Yeah. Uh, I'm passing percent capital. So here, percent capital A means that uh, I am just extracting month uh, weekday information from this date column. So the, that's why I'm using here percent A. And like uh, here, I'm passing a small percentages. So here you can see that in short form weekday information. And here I'm passing a small b, then it's written the year information inside two digit format, and so then I'm passing capital B, so it's written the year information in four digit format. Similarly, we can do for the, 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 this thing. Suppose I want here date info, uh, change the date form. So here you can see that a date is present as a 2015-12-01. But this is the as separated. Uh, uh, suppose that I want this uh, to replace this as to comma or backslash. So for this here, I'm using person capital Y. I'm separating this here information with backslash. So for this, I'm using this and person M and person B. So you can see that here everything is. Oh, sorry, I'm. So you can see that I uh, replaced this tab with the this backslash. So this is the uh, strf function. Uh, strf time is used for the date time formatting. So this is a very useful because when we represent our uh, we try to change the format of our date, so we can use this strf function. Now here you can see that I have created a weekday one column where I am extracting only weekday information. So you can see that here. Weekday is equal to one means Tuesday, which is equal to four means Friday, which is equal to six means Sunday, and which is equal to one means Tuesday. So you can now I am extracting month column as a full month name. So you can see that here 
month is present as a 12th so it's written month information as a December. I'm going to sharing this notebook link in my video description and you can see you can find this notebook for your practice. Thank you and happy learning.